two communities across the nation, NCN News and Current Affairs. For the headlines, Philippine Commission on Women Urges Women Empowerment. DepEd's revival of GMRC leads way to students' discipline. Binget's forest fire destroys hectares of pine lands. TikTok to lift Philippines from tourism deterioration. One vision, one community, unity in diversity. Good afternoon, Philippines. Mapia Magira to Gay Girl City. Today is Wednesday, 11th of March, and we are live here at the University of Cagayan Valley. For the details, more news. For the 2020 National Women's Month celebration in the country last March 8, the Philippine Commission on the Women, or PCW, urges all Filipino women to join the 15-day activities to honor the bravery and importance of women in the society. To strengthen the UN Women's Campaign with the theme Generation Equality, Realizing Women's Right for an Equal Future. It aims to promote equal pay, equal sharing of domestic work and benefits, and to end sexual harassment or any forms of violence against women. The said celebration has several activities, including one for women, gallery exhibits, and forums about women's role in the society. Meanwhile, Senate passes bill requiring GMRC subject in basic education. What would be the benefits if we get from what would be the benefits we can get from this? Further details live at the University of Cagayan Valley is Ina Medrón. Ina, what is the latest update? Yes, Giselle, knowing that with the advent of technology, students need to learn more about the right manners to this contemporary society. So we have interviewed students if they are in favor of having GMRC subject in basic education. Different cultures but one goal, and that is to establish respect and values education to Filipino students. Department of Education pushed through the revival of Good Manners and Right Conduct, or GMRC subject, in elementary and secondary levels for both private and public schools. In an interview with Frankie Galit, a grade 11 student and one of the indigenous students from Region 12 believed GMRC subject helps students to learn respect despite cultural diversity. GMRC and Values Education subjects will replace the existing education sa pagpapakatao in basic education curriculum to not only instill discipline but even preserve the Philippine culture and love for the country. House Bill Number 6705 highlighted with the revival of GMRC despite diversity. Unity will become a reality. Ina Medron, always ahead, news on air. Back to studio. Thank you, Ina. Up next, we have forest fire destroys hectares of pine lands and TikTok to leave Philippines from tourism deterioration. All of that and more. That's the current face of nearly 900 hectares of pine land of Benguet after forest fires rage in eight areas in the province. Benguet's environmental officials expressed 
The cause of forest fires were cattle rustling, kaingin and negligence, and as well as the dry butter and wind from the northern monsoon which aggravated the problem. Firefighters and local volunteers encountered difficulties in putting out the fires because of mountainous terrain, steep slope, and absence of access roads. Ina Medron, always ahead, news on air. Despite the COVID-19 outbreak's effect in the country's economy, Filipinos are finding ways to promote tourism in the country. Our Selfie News on-air patroller Liza the KPM will tell us more. Due to the rise of the COVID-19 patients, Philippines might be in its downfall as tourists from the different parts of the world are terrified to visit the country. Hotels and airlines are forced to impose discounts just to save the country's economy. Department of Tourism are now encouraging millennials to take action and use TikTok, the number one social media platform as of today, to promote Philippine tourist spots using a hashtag challenge, and that to inform people that the government are doing everything to ensure their safety. Furthermore, influencers can also use their editing skills to promote places, heightening engagement with their millions of followers, but also assuring the accuracy and of the advertisement. Liza the Key Bill. Always ahead, news on air. And those were the top stories for this hour. For more latest news, just visit our page triple This has been your unbiased and truth upholder de Salsal, embracing the diverse culture in the country, giving you a global perspective and a national coverage. Always ahead, news on air. <laughs>